Hi all, welcome to CamelCast. This is Pinky. Uh, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a custom HUD crosshair. Uh, I'll post a link in the description later. And, uh, what we're going to be using today is a uh, Fox uh, font file. Uh, credits go to Fox for coming up with this awesome font file. Uh, that makes it easier to come up with your own custom uh, crosshair. Okay, so firstly, you will need a custom, uh, custom hut, uh, Garmin, PV hut, Franken hut, uh, and community hut are some of the bigger ones. Do a little search. We'll be needing these files. I right now I have the Franken hut. We'll be needing these files for the resources and scripts folder in our TF folder. Yeah. So navigate to your TF folder. Your username Team Fortress 2 TF and look for your scripts folder. Uh, first things first, we will download the font file. The description will be in the, uh, the, the link will be in the description. And we are going to download it. And let's extract it. Okay. okay. So, we're going to open up the HUD layout scheme, and uh, I've actually got a text file with uh, all the commands that you need to paste in, and I'll put a link to that in the description too. Firstly, in your HUD layout folder, uh, in your HUD layout file, right at the top here, this is my current crosshair. What we're going to do is change to minus zero first, so that you can see yours. And uh, we're gonna take, go to my text document, copy top part over here. There are instructions, but this view is a supplement to it. Push enter once and paste it just within the first curvy bracket that you see at the top. So this is what I just pasted it, and we're gonna change the name to something uh, to a crosshair that we're doing today. We're gonna do a crosshair circle. Take note of caps, we're going to change it to C, H, C, all in caps. So, crosshair circle, change the second one here to crosshair circle 2. And over here, the font, C, H, circle. I will come back to this in a while. Save it. Don't close it yet. Now we're going to navigate to our resources folder, look for the client scheme file, open it up, I'll drag it over to the right side, so it's easier to see. And uh, with the client scheme file, uh, what we're going to do is scroll down until you see fonts. Uh, it should be somewhere. Yep. See fonts. And if you look, we didn't hear. Uh, there's a fonts and uh, the first curvy bracket. Could have pasted it within that first curvy bracket. So go back to my text document and you'll see the second thing to paste. You see it's client scheme file. Copy this out. Back in here within the first curvy bracket. Paste it. So here we're going to change. We're going to look back at our hard layout file. Remember what you changed it to, ch circle. I'm going to copy this and change it in our client scheme file to the same name. So what it's doing is it's telling, uh, it's the file in the, the value in your hard layout file is actually drawing the data from within your client scheme file. So, uh, changes in your client scheme file don't apply until you restart Team Fortress 2. But uh, you can actually see changes in your hard layout file uh, after you've reloaded your hard with the uh, console command, which we'll see later. So right now, uh, I'm going to change the height slightly higher. This The height actually uh, changes the size of our circle, so I'm going to put it to something like 28. And just save it first. Uh, we're going to uncode anti-alias 1. Because it's a circle and needs smooth edges or something like that. Yep. Uh, outline one, uh, 
what it does is it creates a shadow behind your circle and it's going to be black yeah black shadow behind uh, now we're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom and uh, we're going to take a look at our uh, remember the file we downloaded from NATF2 yeah. what we're going to do is you know, find that file Fox custom hard cross SV2 what we're going to do is you look for this is a .ttf file and you take this file copy it and paste it into our resources folder you see I put it in there and now what we're going to do is look at our resources folder uh, right at the bottom here we're going to paste in uh, something from my text document again Look at the bottom here. Last thing, paste in, copy that, paste it in here. And uh, you see, you want to change this number at the top. This is what I pasted in. Uh, you want to change this number over here to, to the next number in the sequence. So in our case, it's number 10. Font resources tells you to look in the resources folder for this font file. The files are .ttf, uh, true type one file, and uh, in our case, we're going to use a crosshairs file. So, take note of the case. It's called crosshairs or lowercase. So quick save, and if we actually open up our crosshairs file, if you look at the top here, on the font name, it's crosshairs with a capital C. So this is important. Uh, now we're going to go back into our client scheme file, scroll back up to our CH circle. There it is. Now the name of, of this has to be the same as the font name. So it's going to be crosshairs with a capital C. There it is. Let's save. Check over here. Uh, okay, one more thing. Uh, if you look at the file that we downloaded from Fork, uh, made by Fork, there's a picture in here. And this actually tells you that if I want this crosshair, the scatter crosshair, I have to use zero in my art layout file where the where it says label text where let say change this. Yeah, if I want a scatter crosshair, I have to put a zero there. And in our case we are making a circle. And so we have to change this to nine. Save it. Do a check. Uh we have to change our tall, our wide, and our X pose and Y pose in a while. But in the meantime, let's just start up TF2. So we start up our own map. I use TRM because it's pretty small. Yeah, and we join a team. Uh, if you notice, uh, the crosshair isn't centered. How I center it, I like to go sniper. And look at the sniper dot. and. You can see that it's not centered. So what we're going to do? Alternate tab out. Uh, yep. You want to run this in window mode, so it's easier to alternate tab out. But what we're going to do is our Y pose. We're going to change it by a bit. See if it's centered. Save it. Go back in. Use the console command. 
hard underscore reload scheme to reload our hard. If you look, our crosshair actually moved upwards. So what I'm going to do is change this value to something even smaller. Now I see it's too down. Tap again. Every time you make a change, you have to save this file. Go back to the game. I found hard reload scheme to the button. I reload it. You can see it's shifting upwards. So we need a bit more. Save it again. We are getting it centered. Save it again. Back to game. And yes, we've got it centered, I think. Yep. Uh, if you notice, the crop circle is green. And uh, if you want to change that color, look at your hard layout file again. And if you notice, uh, there's a FG color down here. It's red, green, blue, and this is a transparency. So let's say I want my circle white, but slightly transparent. So white I'll mix all colors. Uh, mix it. Uh, mix all red, green, and blue to the maximum. Maximum is two five five, and then I'll lower the transparency down to maybe a hundred. Save it. Again. See, we've got a semi transparent circle. We can make it more transparent by reducing the transparency. Yep, and now we've got even more transparent uh, circle. Yeah. So, this is how we make hard cross here. And credits to uh, Bob for making this uh, hot pop. Uh, for different resolutions, you might have to adjust the white tall and uh, expose white position. Uh, yeah, so play around with it. If it goes off screen, change it by smaller uh, increments. And uh, I had a special request for a smiley font. Uh, you gotta do a Google search for a file called. Uh, Emoticons, it's a form file called Emoticons, and if you do a Google search, you'll find one. And uh, if you follow the steps, you should be able to do it just like I have. And uh, that's about it. Now, uh, if you have any questions, feel free to post in the comment section and I'll try to get back to you if I feel like it. So, thanks for watching.